City Council has approved a series of affordable housing projects for sites all over the city, but the idea was met with strong criticism by speakers at yesterday's council meeting. Several said they didn't want the projects in their neighborhood. The affordable housing units are built with city subsidies, generally tax breaks, but the developments will pay property taxes. The Alamo College's Board of Trustees has voted to name Ruben Mike Flores, president of Palo Alto College, as the lone finalist for chancellor of the district. Vote starts a 21-day period during which the district presents Flores at community forums and negotiates his contract. If he's confirmed, he will succeed Chancellor Bruce Leslie upon Leslie's retirement September 30th. Our business news update now with Tony Casada from the San Antonio Business Journal. Hi, Sherry. Frontier Airlines will launch new nonstop service on April 9 between San Antonio and Raleigh-Durham International Airport in North Carolina. Nonstop service to what's known as the Research Triangle could be a particular boon to the growing number of San Antonio businesses in the bioscience industry. Hart Hanks, a San Antonio-based marketing company, has cut CEO Karen Puckett's base salary by 35%. That's among several significant changes to its executive compensation, including reducing the cash retainer paid to board members from $45,000 to $40,000. The moves come days after the company closed on a deal with a new investor, Wipro, which paid $9.9 million for a minority stake in Hart Hanks. Thanks, Tony. We're online, klrn.org news.